Hey there. I'm so going to try to stay awake for this. I'm just so sleepy. I want to go to sleep so bad. I try to make a video outside. Irby kept barking. Power cut off. Um, I was feel like I was being too long with it because I wasn't getting to the point until the last minute I finally got to the point. Well, the thing is, um, this is called why I believe the earth doesn't spin. Okay. So I'm going to give you two scripture verses referring to why I don't believe that it spins. Uh, the first is John chapter, sorry, not John, Joshua chapter 10 verse 12. So a little sleepy. Then spake Joshua to the Lord in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Avgelon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven. Notice how many times he says it. Stun, sun, stand now still. Verse 13, and the sun stood still. And the next verse, uh, it was the same verse actually. So the sun stood still. It says it over three, four times here. And there was no day like that before it or after it that the Lord hearkened to the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. Okay. So now let's read Habakkuk 3.11. Okay. The sun and the moon stood still in their habitation. And the light of thine arrows they went. And then at the shining of thy glittering spear. Okay. Again. The sun and the moon stood still in their habitation. What is that called when you have two books and giving a witness? Or when you have two more than one person giving a witness and account? That's a that's a trustworthy. It's a um what do you call it? It's a um no no report should be um just or authorized or how you call it was authorized or 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 brought it to the. In other words, there there are two books that are discussing this. Joshua and Habakkuk. Joshua is the one who gave the command based on the Holy Spirit reaching in his heart and say, hey, show me, prove me, watch what I do. Habakkuk was pretty much repeating what happened because it says it didn't happen like it, no, the day was like it or after it. But anyway, why in the world would the Lord Tell Joshua to have the sun and the moons to stay still or stand if, in fact, the earth did rotate. If the earth was rotating like people say, why did he command Joshua to do that if the earth rotated? God would have by the Holy Spirit to Joshua would have just said something for nothing. It wouldn't really have mattered because the earth would have kept going and rotating because the command was for the sun and the moon to stand still, not the earth. If the earth rotated, it would have went on by eventually and they would have seen another day. But instead, no. The moon stood in its habitation, as we see in Joshua, I mean Habakkuk, and so did the sun. It didn't go down for about a whole day in Joshua. Of course, you got other scriptures talking about Hezekiah, about the sun going back so many odd steps, what have you. And, um, you know, was the earth turning then? If you read the Bible, you don't see anything about the earth spinning. And if the, uh, whenever the Lord says for the sun and the moon to stand still by the Holy Spirit and His Word, that means exactly that. I do not know why in the world my Christian brethren, Bible-believing saints of God, those who believe in geocentrism, excuse me, in heliocentrism, 
do not take God for his word. Why are you sitting in there, I don't mean to be rude when I say this, saying, I take God at his word. I trust what the Bible says. The Holy Spirit tells me through the Bible, in the, in the King James Version Bible. I trust what it says. I might not understand them all, but I trust God's word. Okay, well, why can't you trust that? When God says by the Holy Spirit that Joshua said for the moon and the sun to stand still, sun and the moon, sun and the moon to stand still, why can't you trust what it says? When Habakkuk says it, a double witness will verify a testimony. That's what it is. So it will, um, you know, it verifies a testimony. You have two books of the Bible saying the sun and the moon stood still. And still, Bible-believing saints of God will not believe this. They say the earth rotates. They say this. They say that. You know, things of that nature. That's not what God's word says here. Joshua said, for the sun and the moon stand still. Habakkuk um, witnessed to that in, in God's word. I don't get why that's so hard to believe. What does it matter anyway that our earth does not rotate? Why? Because unfortunately, you got too many people out there trying to prove God's word wrong. And we don't need to be part of that crowd. Because if they can try to prove that God was wrong, that makes the Bible a liar and that makes God a liar. But can also consider this. <laughs> that Felix Baumgartner jumped how I many so many miles out of a balloon and came back down near or next to the same spot he launched from? And how many hours was he up in space? The edge of space there? Right into the edge of the second heaven where the sun and the moon um, are not far away. Well, you know, well, it's in that area where the sun and the moon is. It's what you call the second heaven. But um, if he can come and jump all the way back down to earth and land in relatively the same area, why in the world do you think the earth is spinning? Think about all the darn buildings out there that where if this planet were actually spinning and think about the moon when the astronauts landed on the moon the moon wasn't spinning because we still see the same face of the moon that they landed upon that landed on if the moon were spinning then their modules couldn't land correctly or they would have to um do like they do with um the space shuttles i don't think they i don't think their modules were de designed for that if the moon were spinning ross I don't think the modules were designed for it. They were to, meant to go straight on upon the moon, on the moon, face of the moon. That's what they did. And if they were spinning, it seems like to me they would have bounced off, glanced right off, but they didn't. So why would the Earth need to spin? It doesn't. You know, I'm just basically I'm going by what the Word of God says. And if you want to believe it, great. If not, that's up to you. Totally up to you, what you believe. But if you're a Bible-believing saint of God, and you trust what he says, and you love his words, here they are, in black and white. And they said, the sun stood still. The moon stayed. Okay? Again, the sun and the moon stood still in their habitation, and the light of the thine arrows, they went. Okay? Wait, well, let me skip on here. Let's see here. Um, Joshua said, in the sight of Israel, Sun, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Agilon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. And later on down in the verse here, it says, So the sun stood still, while well, you know my face, in the midst of heaven. In the midst of heaven. It says nothing about the earth rotating or what have you again if it was the um just for the earth excuse me for the sun and the moon to stand still the lord god through joshua by the holy spirit it's just wasting words why would joshua give a command for the sun and the moon to stand still if the earth were rotating it doesn't make sense 
It doesn't make sense whatsoever. It would be just wasted words. Sun and moon stand still. Okay, they are still rotating. It doesn't look like it's standing still. So Joshua's faith would have been contradictory. It would have been contradict. I mean, he would have. Uh, it would have. It would have showed him up in front of Israel. Let's just say that, in front of the children of Israel. It would have made him look like a sucker. Sun and moon stands. Sun stand over Gibeon or stand still over Gibeon. Moon stay over Agilon. and here is the earth rotating. Lord, it's not happening. No, that's not what happened. They stayed right where they were until the day was over, until the battle was over with. So that shows right there, the earth was not rotating. Because if it were, it would have been contradicting, contradicting what Joshua made a command to do and that God allowed. So think about that, Bible-believing saints of God. It's right there in black and white. If the earth rotates and there was a command and then the earth rotated on by, I mean, again, there's nothing in here that says the earth rotates. Read it again. Read it for yourself. I'm going to bed. Good night. Or good morning, rather.